Hi, this is Frank Carmody, and today we're going to create a 3D shape in Inventor uh, using a work plane and one of the 3D tools. Okay, so I'm going to open up a new part file, and I'm going to start out this, this uh, 3D shape by creating a rectangle. So I select the rectangle tool, click once, pull out, click again, go up to dimension it, click the dimension tool, click on one on the top line. We're going to make this a 3x2 rectangle, so I make it 3 inches wide. Click on the line, pull out, whoops, click on the line, pull out, click again to set the dimension, double click to edit the dimension, make this two inches, click the green check. Next we're going to use the zoom tool, okay, so I'm going to unzoom a little bit. We're going to right click done to exit the zoom tool, right click done to exit, exit the dimension tool, and then right click finish sketch. Okay, so we have a rectangle here. The next thing I'm going to do is create a work plane. So I'm going to go over to the left-hand side of the screen on my browser bar, open up the origin, and these are the planes that I have available. So I want one that matches the original sketch, which in this case is the XY plane. So I click on the XY plane, and now I'm going to make a work plane out of this XY plane. So I'm going to click the plane tool, click the plane tool, I go down, I grab the yellow circle on the corner of my XY plane, I click on it and drag out to do the offset. Offset just means how far away from the original plane was it. So my offset in this case, uh, we're going to make it 1.5 inches. Actually, let's go ahead and make this 2 inches. And it's negative 2 because it's back. And click the green check. Okay. And then we're going to create a second work plane. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a second work plane, another XY plane. Click on the plane tool once again. And we're going to pull it back. And this time the offset is going to be 2 inches. It's a little bit easier just to set this, or negative, I'm sorry, negative 2 inches. Click the green check. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to need to zoom out because we can't see the work plane anymore. Oops. And something went wrong here, so I'm going to redo it. So right click done. And we're going to go back to our XY plane again. Take our work plane, grab the yellow circle, pull it back. Ooh, and we're actually going to go to 3.5 inches. That was my mistake. Or I'm sorry, 3 inches. Let's make it 3 inches here. Uh, for the, In this case, our practice, the, the dimensions don't really matter. We just are practicing setting the dimensions. So we're just creating a creative shape here. So we click the green check. And now we have our two work planes behind our original sketch. And you can see those there. Now, work plane is great because we can create a new sketch on our work plane. So let's go ahead and right click anywhere in the blue area. We're going to go right click, new sketch. Now we go and we highlight the red outline of the work plane. So once I have the red outline highlighted, I click once to create my new sketch. And all we're going to do is create a circle here. We're going to get to the middle of, uh, middle of our work plane, approximately. We're going to open up the circle. We're going to dimension that circle to be one inch. Okay, so we're going to make a one inch circle. Actually, let's go ahead and let's edit that again. I've decided that I'm going to make this two inches today. So make a two inch circle. We're going to drag this down a little bit. Whoops, right click done. And we're going to use our regular pointer to drag it down a bit and make it kind of line up with our original. Uh, sketch. I'm going to right click finish sketch. And now we're back in our 3D editing mode. Okay, so now I have two sketches. I'm going to right click, make a new sketch, and we're going to make our third sketch. So I right click new sketch, then I click on the red outline of the third work plane. Our new sketch comes up. <clears throat> and now I'm going to create another circle. Now I don't have to stay on my work plane. You'll notice that this sketch goes on forever. So I can actually come over here and I'm going to make a very small circle. So click here. here. I'm going to add my sketches. So I add the first sketch, my rectangle. I add the second sketch, my large circle. And I add my third sketch, which is my very small circle. OK, so there we have it. We get a nice preview there. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. 
and here we have it. Now, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and set the visibility on these work points so they don't get in our way. Uh, and if you notice, if I right click on here, the visibility is checked. I can uncheck that. Right click on the other work plane and uncheck the visibility. Whoops. Right click on the other work plane, uncheck the visibility. And now we just have our shape here. Very interesting shape. The lock tool is an extremely versatile tool. And I hope you have fun creating your sample today. So once you create something like this, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. We're going to go ahead and save our, our work. So I'm going to click Save. I created one earlier, so I'm just going to click on my, my original uh, part name here. So Mr. Carmody Loft, and I'm going to click Save. Okay, now it's your turn. Go ahead and create a loft, save, and upload. Good luck.